But please, Nigerians, forgive me. Forgive me. I know I can't bring back the dead, but I'm sorry, please. my people this is so emotional adama luke the producer of the movie that took junior pope's life and the other four crew members don't cry come out my people this is so heartbreaking this is so emotional guys adama luke say i'm sorry nigerians i'm sorry that this had to happen to me i'm not god but please you all should put yourself in my shoes it's not easy on me and believe me i still need your prayers four months after junior pope and the rest people buy my people online in laws till they go this get page every day go the boo boo -am. guys it's not easy i know it's not easy not be all these things go bring back junior pope and the rest four crew members it's not easy on this lady waiting don't happen don't happen waiting don't happen don't happen not only god now you know waiting happen on that fateful day just can't be saying now a production neither thing for happen but this lady don't go through a lot she's going through a lot she's a nursing mom according to her her baby was just three months old when that thing happened and yet nigerians never feast forgive her every day that they storm her dm her comment session they know they allow her drink water drop cup guys it's not easy i watched this video water come off from my eye ah god junior pope why pay everybody but if this guy why you not go wake junior pope up oh you not go wake him up waiting happen don't happen yes it can happen to anybody Guys, if you watch this video, you know, you'll know, say, Adana look, they go through a lot. I beg. Nigerians, she don't come. Come apologize. Make una beg, forgive her. Watch the full video, guys. Ah, God. I don't have much to say. I'm just here to say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nigerians. I'm sorry I took away your loved ones. From what people are saying I'm very sad like in as much as I try to be strong I still don't see myself being strong I'm so sad I'm so sad. I'm so sad that this had to happen on my set. I'm so sad that they had to come work for me at that particular time. I'm not God. It has been destined to happen. It is meant to happen, but then why me? I never liked the internet drama and all that, but this whole thing puts me out there. A lot of people, a lot of people has been dragging me. A lot of people have been calling Ada, don't talk. Ada, let this die, don't talk, don't talk. I go through a lot. I go through so much. I'm trying to heal, but it's not coming back. We all love JP. We all love other people that also lost their lives. My crew members. I haven't visited Asaba in, in the past two years until that incident. When I wanted to shoot that job, I asked for a better location and they took me there. First time going there, I asked, what's up? Why are they not providing life jackets for us? Because we had to go see the place before we went for the main shooting. 
then my PM told me that uh, that is how they do it. That a lot of people have been crossing, that nothing has happened, that they've been shooting there. I wasn't the first person that, sh that shot a movie there. They shoot there all the time. I wasn't even filming in the water. It was um, a means of transportation to the place. It's not like I did it on purpose. It wasn't even my duty, but I'm, I'm taking all the blame. I'm carrying all the cross. But please, Nigerians, I'm sorry. It has happened. I've been, I've been doing things. I don't even know what depression is until, until this whole incident happened. I'm gradually losing my life. I'm regretting a lot of things. I don't even know how to call people for job. I don't even know how to. Please, Nigerians, forgive me. Forgive me, forgive me for employing people for job. Forgive me for... I don't even know what to say, but I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm losing my life. People are even saying I went on vacation. I'm here for business. I traveled to go help myself. I've been indoor doing nothing. And yet still catering for the families that lost their loved ones. Where do you expect me to get all this money from? I need to work. I need to make money. My baby was not, he's not even up to three months when this thing happened. You all can't even imagine what I went through. But please, Nigerians, forgive me. Forgive me. I know I can't bring back the dead, but... I'm sorry, please. My friends are even telling me to come. Just come. Let's take you on a vacation. Let's go. But I couldn't. I couldn't because they want me to have to get my sanity back. They want me to be okay. But it's not it's not coming. Like I'm not seeing myself doing all that. I've done a lot that, that is not even there on the gram. I've done a lot that people don't come out to say on social media. But once it comes to Ada, Ada did this. They will want to kill me. I believe that if anything happens to me now, everybody will now rest. I didn't do it on purpose. That location, that particular place, people has been, has been filming there for a very long time. Why it had to happen to me is what I don't know. Every, every morning I see myself on the prayer altar asking God, why me? Why me? Why would Nigerians, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the whole world. We all love JP. We all love JP. I'm sorry. Please. And if I know after this video, a lot of people are going to be calling me or asking me, Ada, why will you do this? Please don't. Don't call me and don't ask me why because you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know what I'm fighting. You don't know how I sleep at night. Please. You have to allow me to handle this my way, please. I'm begging Nigerians, I'm sorry, please. <laughs> but this, 